All right. Hey, everyone. Uh, Day Trader Rockstar here for a little, a little uh, educational and watch list video going out for this upcoming week. First off, uh, I did a video a couple of days ago called the One Two Three Method, and this is how to uh, plan out your charts. Actually, plan out how to trade a channel, and it's called the One Two Three Method. And you could refer back to that. It's on YouTube and stuff. But this week's watch list that I send out every Sunday, I send out a watch list called the Ten for Thousand Watch List which are you know, based on the methodology that I, that I uh, trade off of. And this is uh, the multiple indicator setups, so the oversold condition, the, the lower trend lines, the recognizable patterns, and the moving averages all combined to, to put up, uh, you know, give us multiple indicators of support. And we trade those on a low risk opportunity, you know, low risk area for a high probability uh, return. And again, this is a, just a, a fast review of the one, two, three method. You know, basically, you get three points of a chart. The first two, or the top two, or the bottom two, however it plays out, you draw that uh, draw that trend line. That trend line is your first trend line. The, the third oddball or the triangle one, you draw a parallel line. So make sure you have equal distance from the trend line. And as that trade pl plays out, you want to take the positions each time it comes down to that trend line, as long as you have multiple indicators also lining up. So. The downward trend line here, the lower trend line, lining up with an oversold stochastic would be a great in indication. Even here at this point, too, we come down close to that. We don't get the real, you know, big bounce, but what we do see that the market takes uh, takes uh, these areas in effect, and especially this one. This is a multiple indicator setup. You have the trend line, you have recognizable pattern, you have oversold stochastics, and hence you get the nice move. So that's what I base the ten for thousand watch list on, and want to give us the the best setup. So. Um, these are stocks. This is a little a bonus, bonus watch list that goes out to the public. Uh, these are setups that are setting up. You know, so basically, we, we you know, what we, I have two. I have usually generally one big list that I'm watching. There are stocks that are set up, and then I also make a, a list of stocks that are I haven't set up, but I know because I'm reviewing stocks every every day and every week that these stocks might. Um, be setting up in the next uh, week or so. So I want to share that with you, uh, show you how I can get to those, and maybe I'll help you for a, uh, in a trade in the future. And these will be trades that I'll be focusing on when they set up on the uh, live on the radio. So you could easily, uh, you know, when you do hear those trades play out, you can refer back to these charts, see how to play them, and then kind of get a good education off them. OVTI, basically, um, lower trend line, top of the trend line, one, two, three method. So basically, you're just going to look to trade that uh, hopefully get the oversold stochastics setting up with the lower trend line. A very simple trade when it comes about. So this list of stocks that I'm running through right now, I'll have separate and I'll go over them every few days to see if they're getting anything gets down to the trigger. Same here, AT, A, ATK, an established channel. Stochastics work really well with it. And now we're just going to see what's going to happen here. Now we actually could be other trades happening ar around this. It could be a um, you know a little pullback. And a bounce off of this level, but I really want to take the multiple indicator area and limit the risk, limit any downside. All right, um, DSX. I kind of have it on this week's watch list too, but a great setup again, re real recognizable pattern. This one really trades well off of trend lines. So all we need to do, and now because it's a channel, it really establishes that lower trend line. So all I'm going to do is wait for that next pullback to the DSX. If we don't get it, we don't get it. But hopefully we get a little pull, further pullback, so Cass will get oversold and have a, another great entry here on DSX, which is setting up. Um, Row V is just one that we like to trade. I just threw it up there saying, don't forget, have you been in the uh, room over the last couple of weeks? We've pretty, pretty much in and out of this one. And really starting to look at it again very soon to, to get back in a very good quality stock. My stock of the year, and expecting it to go back through seventy dollars, which was my current uh, current target. So now we pull back to sixty three. Um, I think we have some good upside here. <coughs> All right, LVS, Las well, Vegas Sands. Again, nice little channel, recognizable channel. Um, here's what I call the gap rule. Um, whenever you have a gap in a chart, a new new pattern um, starts. So it's not like whenever you have that gap, you can always count on a new pattern starting. So a new channel is going to start with the gap and then the recent high, and then from that point on, you can start to build out your, your pattern. So, but always go back to the point where you have a gap, and there's most likely there's going to be a new pattern starting to pl play out from that wherever it's going to be. But um, so stochastic is pulling back. 
Um, again, the it's in the pattern. We're actually seeing a little a little divergence between price and the oversold stochastics. But again, what I'm looking for are the multiple indicators to set up. So I want to have a trend line and a st stochastic. I just don't want to have a stochastic set up and no support underneath this because that's kind of guessing which way we're going to go from here. Normally, you look at this type of strength coming in and you're going to say, well, that's we're seeing a little divergence because we're putting that little head and sh inverted head and shoulders pattern. You're seeing a divergence here, so strength is coming in. But in either case, it's a it's a it's a higher risk trade. Boeing. Here's a good example: an upward channel that's played out in Boeing, and you can easily buy it on the lower trend line. It's pushed up against the top of the trend trend line here, so I want to pay attention to that. Um, B A is the symbol. If I can get that up for you. All right, B A. And again, this I know I'm going to start rotating. And looking at Boeing too. So what I'm trying to do is find stocks that really, uh, really ad um, adhere to the trends, uh, to, to the channels. This one we took recently off of this uh, pullback, lower trend line support, oversold stochastics was a nice trade. And again, always looking for you know retest of the trend line to get back in it or something to to show us another thing because an established pattern looks really good, and you can just hit these in and out, in and out. Long as you have to, you know, the object here is. You're not going to see this trade every day and get the get the what we call the high probability move. You know the long extended move. You know we don't want to be in the chop here unless you're really a focused uh, scalper. But what we want to do is be in a position in the market where it's going to give us the best possibility of a run. All right. So that's you know I want this spot from here to here. I want to be in it. I don't want to be in from here to you know here and you know I want I want to know this is the, the spot I want to be in. This is the spot I want to be in. And these you get by calculating the indicators each time, recognizing the underlying trend line. So why not take something like this? Why why get ag overly aggressive in the uh, market? <coughs> Excuse me. I'm still getting over my cold here. Um, <clears throat> so just a great example of that one. Salesforce. Um, recognizing that gap, we're going to just throw that parallel line in here because I know that um, earnings, or actually Barron's has d d done a kind of a negative article on Salesforce.com, just kind of a uh, viewpoint on there. So we might get, a, actually might get a, a reaction on on the Barron's article. So we're going to watch this level down here for uh, for a move down. I don't know how much of that's going to affect it. We're going to move back down 12 points on the Barron's. If we do, then I'm going to look for that bounce off of 119.50, and I think it'll be a great place even for a scalp off of 119.50 tomorrow. And Red Hat, again, another gap up, uh, overhead established trend line. Just gonna put this trend line down here. We're gonna say buy trigger 41 area, look for that bounce, stochastics, weak, but oversold. So again, just uh, these are, this is how we, what we call plan for a trade or plan out a trade. So we don't wanna be behind the, uh, behind the trade. We wanna be proactive in our trading and say, all right, in this case, we're, you know, I don't want, this is exactly what I'm saying. Once we were able to establish this and we were like, all right, now all of a sudden we're back at the trend line. All right, so we're back at the trend line, oversold stochastics, everything in line enough for a bounce here. I don't have it on the watch list. I prefer to trade downward sloping channels with a break to the upside. And these have a little more risk to so a break to a downside. And you can see that the uh, there's been some selling here. So I want to watch it. Probably not going to take this. But it's definitely something that you might want to trade out there um, because everything is lined up perfectly here. So I would pay attention to this, see how it reacts. That gives you a little more confidence in your trade overall. Um, so that's a few stocks that are setting up. Again, we have the, the full 10 for 1,000 watch list, which are the stocks that are already set up uh, for this week. I have three best bets on it. And uh, maybe I should throw out, a, throw out a best bet for a gimme here. Um, looking at Scripps Network, Scripps, S-N-I. I like the area here. Maybe a little further push back down here. And then we're going to play out this channel. One, two, three method, 200 period moving average, lower trend line. This is one of my best bets going into this week. So a little, a little present for those out there, not part of the premium section of the site. But anyway, um, you can always come by and listen for free. The, the show is on every day from uh, about 8.30 to uh, 4 o'clock, trading the markets live, showing you these setups. You know, this is what you know. This is what I preach and what I tra trade. And uh, you can, there's not nothing out there um, that's going to get you farther in trading and sticking to your discipline. You know, establishing a methodology and sticking to it and and everything about that to be successful. So, um, 
Okay, that's that's it for today. This is Day Trader Rockstar for DayTraderRadio.com. Go Jets.